you know how to cook? Because I sure don't. I sure do. And welcome to our new channel where we're going to teach you how to cook. It's called Look Ma, I Can Cook. Today's video is going to be a carbonara, but you guys would have already known that if you were reading the title. And if you can't read, well, it's a good thing we're going to talk you through this. Yeah, it's a simple dish that will blow people's minds. So, for this carbonara, what are we going to need? So, for this dish, you're going to need spaghetti, four eggs, olive oil. We're using pea mail instead of pancetta or bacon. And then you're also going to need parmesan and romano cheese, parsley to finish, and then salt and black pepper to your season. Yeah. The first step for the carbonara is going to be boiling your water. You're going to want to salt it so it tastes like the ocean. I thought the ocean didn't taste very good. It doesn't, but it adds a lot of flavor to your spaghetti. All right. Next step you're going to do is you're going to dice your pea mail down to nice bite-sized pieces so it cooks faster. Do so you normally use pea meal bacon? We, you shouldn't in a carbonara, but we're Canadian and we will use pea meal any chance we get. That's right, true north strong. Once you've cubed your uh, pea mail, or your bacon, or your pancetta, however you guys, whatever protein you guys are using, uh, once your pan's nice and hot, you're going to add it in. You're going to want to hear that sizzle. That's how you know it's hot. And then you're going to go in until all the sides are nice, crisp, and brown. And then you're going to remove this from heat. While this is going on, we have our water boiling over here, which we season with salt. And that's going to cook off for about 8 to 10 minutes. And once it's done, you're going to reserve about half a cup of pasta water to make the sauce later in the video. And we'll show you exactly what we mean after when that step comes to. Yay, I'm doing something. I'm bad at this. While your pasta and meat is cooking, you can go to the next step, which is your egg mixture, which is going to be a quarter cup of Parmesan, quarter cup of your Romano, and then your four eggs. You're going to just quickly whisk it together and reserve it for once your pasta is done. And we're going to show you how to finish your carbonara off with this. Yeah. All the edges have become crisp. We've got a nice color on it. So these guys are good to turn off until your pasta is done. So remember, you have to preserve half a cup to make this carbonara right. So our pasta has been strained now, and we've returned the meat back to heat. Now he's gonna add our spaghetti into the hot pan. Dumping time! And then while this is here, we're going to add that pasta water that we reserved. And we're going to mix these guys together until all that water has evaporated. And then once that water has evaporated, we're going to take this off the heat and bring in our egg mixture to finish. That's as simple as this dish gets. Sounds fancy. It really isn't. So our water has evaporated. We've turned off the heat. It's time to pour in the egg and cheese mixture. Look at that yummy goodness. And then the residual heat should cook out the egg and melt the cheese. And there you have it, your carbonara. All that's left is going to be adding your black pepper, salt, and parsley to finish. And there you have it, simple carbonara. Ridiculously fancy sounding, really easy. Even I could do it. And it's gonna impress everyone. So once again, look ma, I can cook. So, of course, you can find us on social media, Instagram, Facebook. Please like and follow our pages. The, our link is gonna be in the bio underneath. Come check us out, it's gonna be great. We're gonna keep doing these every week so you guys can keep learning and we can keep having fun in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> so. So. So.
You know what we need to do? Well, you know what we need to do? Our dishes. And eat.